Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Griffin Indiana for episode 18 with me, Roysland Gaming. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Griffin Indiana. So I'm just down um, the, sheep, the sort of the animals area of our farm and what we're going to do this morning is a few things. Now we had quite a bit of rain overnight last night. We're on day four of autumn now. Um, our corn is ready. Uh, we have corn and corn ready to go, uh, but obviously the crop moisture symbol is up just now. Crop moisture is about 21%, so it's not far off being okay to harvest, but we just uh, need to spend a bit of time just waiting for that. What I'm going to do uh, while we are waiting is a few things. So firstly, I've got about 14,000 litres of manure here. So we're going to sell this um, to the biogas plant. Um, so we're going to take that down to there and then what we're also going to do there's the wood chips down there that we can then sell as well and um, yeah I'm looking to potentially uh, get some sheep today now the sheep situation is um, oh dear, this, tray, this, uh, this fork's just too low isn't it I think what we'll do is we'll swap the John Deere, the bucket off the John Deere and put it on the white tractor. Alright, let's just put that down there. It's got a slightly longer reach. Just put that there. to lose these forks in the wall, in the grass yep so um, yes we're gonna get this manure sold but then um, I want to sell silage as well so um, I've asked the guys uh, from the co-op to bring up the lorry uh, to get that loaded up and then we can uh, we can get that sold as well uh, and then yeah hopefully we'll get on to the sheep and um, yeah, harvesting this corn. So, fairly busy episode, um, sorting things. Now, I've spoken to Paul Carrier, the guy, uh, if you haven't been watching the rest of this series, you're new to it. Uh, Paul Carrier uh, is one of the local farmers. He also owns uh, the sawmill here as well, Beaver Brothers. Uh, and uh, he was away setting up um, his new operation uh, uh, at the area. Now he's based in Ohio um, and yeah he said there is uh, some property for sale over there and, and would I be interested in buying it because he can uh, get in touch with the landowner uh, and see if uh, see how much people want him for it. Now I'm enjoying farming oh no I'm enjoying farming in uh, in Griffin here um, but yeah there is an opportunity to do some farming over in Ohio uh, so I'm gonna leave it to you guys what do you think um, I should I should I move my operations there uh, and start start a new new farm in Ohio or should I just stay here um, I'm still enjoying playing this map but uh, Ohio has got certainly some new uh, new additions to it and some different different crops we can try out um, so yeah I will leave it up to you guys to, to let me know what you think so we'll get this loaded up and then yeah we'll head down to the biogas plant and yeah we'll get this sold fantastic so I had a thought um, rather than selling this uh, manure which is going to be worth very little I'd imagine um, we're gonna we're gonna use it on the greenhouses. I don't know what I was thinking. We could just use it on the greenhouses. It's uh, free free to us because um, it's from the cows, and we can just use it uh, use it here. Uh, so kind of makes sense. And looking at it, it needs topping up just now. Anyway, so yeah, we can, uh, get that in there. Yeah, 
do that in there. There we go. And I can just leave the trailer just down here for now. And that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna help us out no end with the greenhouse here, so that's good. So I'll leave that there. Let's just see if this water needs topping up. I'm still gonna sell the wood chips though. Fantastic. So I'll head over to the biogas plant now and we'll go and get uh, go and get these wood chips sold. So what I'm thinking is if um, if we do move if we do move then yeah what I will probably do is sell up everything here and whatever money we have from this this farm we will use as starting capital for our new farm um, and if there's anything extra we need on top of that uh, then I'll take out a loan um, an extra loan and yeah so if I sold all the crops that we've got um, a lot of the machinery uh, and obviously the land and then whatever that totals up then we'll use that as our starting capital um, I've got nothing against this map at all I'm absolutely loving playing it um, but there's so many great maps out at the moment it kind of makes sense just to just to give another one a go you know I think um, yeah this map AG Farm has done an absolutely fantastic job um, on this and uh, yeah been loving playing it uh, but we're coming up to 20 episodes on this series um, I know with seasons I'm only on year one just now but yeah um, I think, yeah, I'd quite like to have a change. Right, I'm going to get this all uh, emptied and yeah, we'll uh, hopefully by the time that's done, our crops will be ready to harvest think probably what we'll do is I'll get this finished we'll grab the pickup we'll get some sheep uh, sheep delivered so we'll go and collect some sheep get them in the pasture uh, and then yeah by that time the crops should be ready right we will see you in a little bit see you soon Alright folks, so this is taking quite a bit longer than I thought. Uh, I didn't realise we had so many wood chips. So what I've done, um, I have released this uh, conveyor belt. Uh, we're going to use this uh, to collect up the rest of the wood chips. Uh, the co-op has brought uh, or has loaned us the truck, the semi and they have just got a new trailer so I've just uh, hooked that up as well so they are both down here at the biogas plant by the wood chips um, so we'll get that uh, this all connected up and then what I'm going to do and I'm going to then use this uh, conveyor and the lorry the semi with the trailer to pick up all our silage as well that's in our bunker back up there and then we can get that shipped down to here and get that um, stuff into the digester so we just head down here yeah I was doing bucket load after bucket load and we've still got all this left so, so I think what we'll do we'll get this dropped off there okay reverse this out of the way okay Perfect. So I'll get this into position. Reverse this up here. That should be 
いねSo let's have a quick look at uh, what we've earned from this so far. So 7,205 so far. So we'll see how much the rest of these wood chips sell for. Yeah, I honestly didn't think we had that many, but we did. So there we go. That's that done. So how many how much have we got? Yeah. <laughs> So we've got 51 and a half thousand litres in there. I would have been there forever doing that with a bucket. <laughs> uh, never mind. Right, okay, let's get that in here. Fantastic, so 17 Seventy and a half thousand litres, uh, seventy and a half thousand. I'm on the wrong currency again, aren't I? Uh, it's my usual trick. That's better. So, one hundred ninety-one thousand seven hundred twenty-four dollars in the bank. That's pretty good. That should be enough money to get us some sheep. So, what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'll come back for the conveyor. Uh, we'll come and get that in a second. What we'll do, we'll head up to the main farm, uh, up to the animals, and we'll get this silage loaded up. And yeah, our crop moisture is off as well, so we'll probably get the harvester going as well. Uh, I'll get a worker on that. Um, and while they're harvesting, we'll get this silage sold. And uh, yeah, we'll get the sheep as well. So, multitasking today. Right. Oh, what happened there? That hit. Very strange. Right. Okay. Right. We will see you up at the farm, and I'll get all the silage set up. Um. And yeah, we'll get this harvest going. See you in a minute. Right, there we go. So, just heading up to the farm. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop here a second. Uh, and we're going to go and get this harvester started. And then, yeah. There we go. Just turn that off a second. So, yeah, our um, crop moisture is gone. So... Yeah, we can get this going. I have the auger wagon down here already, so we can get that uh, get that going. That'll be fine. So I think what we'll do, we will go. We'll start from this end down here. I think onto the road. And we'll get this this going. So I'll just unfold that. So we'll get this uh, get this field going, and then yeah, I'll set a work on it. There we go, and we're off. So we should get an okay yield off this field, and uh, this is the one we bought. So this has got um, it's still got a fair amount of fertilizer on it. Let's just have a quick check. Yeah, the pH is not that great, but 
Um, yeah, our nitrogen levels are a bit better. So, yeah, we should be okay. And then, um, yeah, we should get a fairly decent yield off this. And then we'll head up to our, our field 1, uh, 1 C and D, and we'll get that, uh, that harvested as well. And while uh, while the workers doing this, we can uh, get um, get this silage loaded up as well. So all in all, we should end up um, a fairly profitable day today. We've already made seventeen thousand from those wood chips, um, and then yeah, we should yeah we should see how much money we make overnight from the silage as well. bit of a cut in here. Just make a bit of a, a cut there. Okay. Yeah, this is already filling up quite quick. So I'll be quick and I'll get the get this uh, conveyor going and then um, yeah I'll bring the tractor straight down and we'll start start carting, carting the corn and I'm just going to stick it straight in our silo get that, uh, get that straight in there right set the worker from here I think oh perfect uh, hopefully I've got enough time to nip up and get this conveyor set up and then we can uh, yeah get him unloaded Right then, so that's Hill 32 completed and what we're going to do, we're going to just get the rest of the grain into 
it'll go again we'll get this filled up and any that's remaining in the harvester we'll just uh, we'll drive the harvester up and put that straight into the silo up there I have uh, da -da -da -da. where are we 61,314 litres of corn in the silo just now which is absolutely amazing um, uh, added to this we're going to have another yeah we're going to have about 80 84 something like that um, and we've still got our field one to go as well so yeah not doing too badly and yeah I need to get this field done get field one done um, the, and I'm going to do that off camera I think we'll, um, we'll maybe throw that into oh, you might have seen that in the time lapse as well maybe edited it out I don't know it's just uh, yeah it's quite a heavy heavy auger wagon for this tractor uh, so yeah I think I might do field one off camera we also have sugar beet to harvest as well so I might do that on the next episode as well um, and yeah we'll get that done but uh, yeah I'm kind of running out of time but what I do want to do before the end of the episode is just get those sheep um, I know there's the opportunity to potentially move but yeah this let's play one of the aims was to get all the animals uh, and quite a few of them so yeah I'd like to get get those uh, get those sheep on the go so just spin round here. We'll get this emptied into into the silo. Let's pull into the side there. There we go. And once this done, I'll go and get the the harvester. We'll get it up to the field. And yeah, I think next time we see you we will be probably bringing the sheep up to the field and we'll finish getting that harvest underway right almost there so yeah 80 81,314 litres so far not bad. Right, I'm going to take this across the field and yeah, we will see you uh, over over the sheep. I forgot to mention actually the, um, the all the silage has been put into the biogas plant now as well. So again, I'll do a little cut piece at the start of next episode showing how much we've learned from that as well. Right, see you in a minute. So just coming up from the animal dealer, I've got 16 uh, sheep in the back. These are merino sheep, so the wool producing ones. I'm going to get uh, another... Four. Yeah, another, another load of these. And I'm going to get a load of dorsets as well. I had that set up on um, Little Norton and they produced loads of young. Um, but also produce quite a bit of wool as well so it does kind of make sense so we'll get these beauties in and move them across uh, it's about 5380 or something for them so it's not a massive amount of money but they're in um, let's have a look at what they need so sheep need water so I think what we'll do we'll put a, a water pump in. So I'll just move this out of the way. There we go. And then go across get this uh, animals. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Water pump. So just zoom in a bit. there's good perfect there we go so that's them water that's them food perfect so 
So, in fact, I'll go and do. I'll get the rest of them in off camera. We'll get them done. And um, so, next episode, we should have. Uh, 32. Yeah, I think we'll probably have about 64 sheep um, in the pasture. So that'll take us nicely up. And then when we get new births, that should push us over 100. And then over here, I'm just going to get this corner harvester running. And yeah, then we can get that done as well. Okay. Unfold that, get that working. You see our oilseed radishes uh, grow nicely, so that could be cultivated in as well. So lots to do on the farm at the moment. Busy, busy, busy. But I think, yeah, we'll finish the episode just there. I I may well not be able to put out um, some, a, a couple of episodes in the next couple of weeks. We, as a family, it is just coming into the summer holidays, school holidays. So uh, I'm not going to have much time to, to do all this. So we're away for a couple of weeks. Um, uh, so I'm just going to take a total break from uh, recording. And yeah, we'll get back to it when I get back. So probably be two two weeks uh, until the next episode. Um, and in that meantime, please comment. Please let me know if you you think we should uh, start a new American life in Hawaii, in Ohio, um, and uh, or you want to just see me continuing with this map. And yeah, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to. We will see you next time, Griffin, Indiana, in a couple of weeks. Some more farming fun. And in the meantime, take care. All the best.